you've got a maximum of six months before you won't be able to tell the difference between me talking to you live like this and my AI twin. Hi, this is Rochelle's AI twin. I am here to educate you. This changes everything for marketing and selling your digital products because you won't have to worry about creating content or showing up online anymore. Your AI twin can do all of that for you. And so in this video, I'm going to show you a simple way to create your own talking AI avatar using just two easy tools. I'm also going to show you how you can use that AI avatar to market your digital products, saving you time and boosting your sales. So let's start with showing you why an AI twin is going to change everything when it comes to marketing your digital product. Because no one talks about how risky it can feel to get online and start promoting your digital products when you already have a career and you don't want your colleagues, your friends or your family finding your content or finding your business before before you've had a chance to establish it. Now that fear alone made me start my own journey faceless. And at first I thought this was the perfect solution, but after three months of grinding, I had made no sales and I quickly realized it was because everyone's faces content looked the same. The same Canva B-rolls, the same stock photos. There was just no way to stand out. And so I took a risk. I started showing my face and building my own personal brand online. And within just a few weeks, I had made sales. I'd also blocked everyone so not one person from work ever found me even though I worked in a career where people were basically on social media daily and for a moment I thought it was it. I thought I had cracked it but then I came across a new issue because even though my sales were going up so was my burnout and so was my anxiety and as an introvert the pressure to always be on camera promoting your digital products it became a huge struggle and it was in that moment that I realized that the real issue with marketing isn't just not wanting to show your face although this works if you want to do that too it's about finding the time and mental space to show up consistently and that is what an AI clone can do for you while still building your personal brand so let me show you the first step to create one and that is to create your AI images so let's jump in okay so your first step is to create your static image right and we're going to use Crea AI for this there's a couple of different things that you can use this is my favorite and you're going to click on the train tab and this is where you will train your model now once you click on this you will be able to train it using images or using videos i personally recommend to stick to images i see more consistent outputs so when you click the next step you need to upload around 50 images of yourself now i only did 40 so if you don't have 50 images that's completely fine and just to give you a quick look at the images that i used here what's so important is that you use a variety of images so you'll see here in my ai laura i've used lots of different types of images of myself for body mid body face like zoomed into my face like this video is super zoomed into my face so you can see that the more variety of images you use the better okay because it can capture all of the different various beautiful unique elements of you so once you upload your images so you just select them all here select as many images as you can and so it will show you whether the images that you've uploaded are basically good enough and this is what i love about Crea because you know before you spend money or credits generating your ai twin you know basically if your average resolution is good and if you have got a good number of images and this will take a little while so give it a little while and and you can train it on any one of these models. I train mine on Flux, but you can try any other ones that you like, right? So I do recommend training it on the Flux model though. And once they've all uploaded the images, you will just click train and it will train those images for you. Now I'm gonna click out of this because I've already done it and I'm gonna go to create an image. So once you have your character and it will probably take about half an hour, you then come on to this image tab by the way you can also find it here so once you've trained your AI character you could just click it from here so you give it a name I just call my my initials and then you just click 
generate. Otherwise, you can just come up here and also just click create an image. So two different ways. Okay, so now it's time to create our static image. Now, what's important here is that you use a detailed prompt. I've actually included an example prompt for you below. It's very simple, but I actually use a very detailed prompt like this. And I was able to create this using ChatGPT and the course that I took to learn all of the steps. And I've linked that below in case you want to take it and get more detail too, right? But here is my prompt. So I always describe myself. Even though it's trained on me, I still describe myself and that is best practice. So I say something like a petite black woman, naturally toned build. I say what I want my skin to look like, how I want my hair to look. And I always say what I want her to wear which for me is often beige. <laughs> so more detail you can go in, the better. Something that I added here, which you might want to also add, I said a glowing LED sign in the back that reads Rochelle B. Obviously you can put your own name on it, but I just think it looks great. Um, and here's another important part. You want your image to be captured when she is speaking, right? Because you already want the facial expressions that come with when you're speaking. So I've said she's speaking mid sentence looking directly at the camera you don't want an ai twin that's looking over here so that's really important okay so that's just a breakdown of the image of the prompt that i've used obviously you can just copy and paste it but if you want to learn how to build your own amazing prompts i've linked the course it's not my course but the course i took below okay and so i just paste in my prompt and i change the dimensions right because i want it to be a 16 by 9 i'm going for that more of that youtube like tv type of size because i want to use it for my trainings and stuff but if you want yours more for instagram and social media you can just use the 9 by 16 and then we're going to click generate and it's essentially going to generate the image and the thing with this right is it's never perfect the first time around and you've got to have patience while using AI this is easy this is simple but you've got to be patient and so you want to keep going until you find an image that you like now I actually quite like this one I don't want this one because I hate seeing hands AI hands still need some work this one the mic looks weird so I'm not a fan of that this one she's touching the mic again not enough fingers so what i would usually do is i would just vary the one that i like and i would keep going through the variations until i find my personal favorite so something like this is actually pretty nice and so is this now for this example i'm gonna go with the earlier version that i created and i like varied you'll see like there is a lot of varies so i went through a lot before i found the one which i believe is this one and then you're going to just download it now there is a step before you make it a talking avatar which i want to show you here so i come into canva and i click the youtube thumbnail size because that's the size that i always go for and then i literally just upload the image that i wanted to use for the ai twin so here's the image and what i like to do in canva is just make a few tweaks so i will usually go and i will click apps and i will upscale it here in canva now you can upscale it in Creo, but i just for canva so i click edit i click upscale and this is just going to make the image higher quality essentially right and so it's really important that you do this because when you turn it into a video you don't want little imperfections letting you down right so once that's done i will click replace and that's about it can you see how much better that looked and so if there's anything else i want to do you can do it in canva like if you wanted to zoom in if like you wanted yours more zoomed in obviously you will get rid of the LED, but you can do that as well. If you wanted to remove something from the image, so I like to do this sometimes as well. I like to use the magic eraser. If there's something that I don't like in the image, I will just remove it. So I click that, click the click, and then you can just click the thing that you want to erase. So let's say you didn't like that mic, Canva can just erase it for you. And like, it's done a pretty good job, right? And so once you've got the image how you like, like it you can just share download um, and download this as a png really important because it keeps the quality and then you've got your image to take into the next step which is to create your talking avatar and so for this we are going to go into hey Jen. now hey Jen is the best like unrivaled the best way to create talking avatars right now and there are two ways you can do it you can either do it from an image like i'm showing you today or you can do it 
from a video now the reason i don't do it from a video right now is because i still think and this was a little while ago i probably need a new one they're like hey jenny's just still a little bit off so look at this one hey rochelle v1 your hyper realistic avatar is ready try creating videos with it also click the feedback button to share what you think hope you enjoy so you probably saw like she stared at you and my voice doesn't really sound like that to be honest here was a better one hey rochelle bramwell your hyper realistic avatar is ready try creating videos with it okay so the lip sync was completely off right so for me i still need to do a bit of tweaking there but i prefer the image so what you will do you will come to photo to video avatar okay and then you will add your photo that you just downloaded let's get a here it here it is the one without the mic and then you would just add a quick script now i don't like to go too crazy for my script so here i've just said hi i'm rochelle's ai twin while rochelle is out there working with clients to build their digital empires i'm here to educate you about how to start and grow your digital product business i've kept it short i've kept it simple but you can add more and then you can also decide do you want it fast or do you want it high quality again more credits and then you just need to decide what quality you want but because i've already created my ai twin i'm not going to create it again you can see it here in my recent creations i actually can't open it right now which is annoying for this video but it doesn't matter because i've already downloaded it so let's open CapCut, where we're going to do our last few edits and i'm going to show you exactly how it looks okay so here is my ai twin in CapCut. so take a look at what she looked like before i added the edits Hi, this is Rochelle's AI twin. While Rochelle is out there working with clients to build their digital empires, I am here to educate you about how to start and grow your digital product business with AI. Say hi. Okay, so she is not bad, but there are a few things that I want to do to make her even better. So what the first thing I want to do is I want to give her a filter just so that her like skin can pop right so i do this for a lot of my videos so this is the filter that i will add so radiant is the future filter that i will add so there we go and then i will just drag it over the top and i will drag it over and now we have got a radiant filter so can you see the difference before radiant after radiant okay so that's really really good now the other things i'm going to do is add b-roll for the speed of this video i'm just going to show you what it looks like afterwards rather than me finding the b-roll and everything so okay so here's the video with the b-roll i just added in a video of me typing and then i also just added a video of me clapping and i literally just put these effects over them okay so one is the camcorder effect and you would just search camcorder here and it gives that like camcorder style and the other one is my transitions so the transition that i added here was the open up transition and so to do that you would just go into here and and find it here right and that's literally all i did i added b-roll and i added a few effects so now we have our talking avatar you saw her at the start but let me just show you her one more time hi this is rochelle's ai twin while rochelle is out there working with clients to build their digital empires i am here to educate you about how to start and grow your digital product business okay so that is a super simple straightforward way to do your talking avatar obviously you can add more edits but now let's put her to work in your marketing so now you've created your AI twin, but how do you actually use it to market your digital products and make more sales? Well, here are three of the smartest ways to put your AI twin to work right away. Number one, you can use your AI twin in your content. And this could be your promotional content, your marketing content, whatever content you need. Think of YouTube videos, your reels, even your ads. And I want to give you an example. Look at Julian Goldie. He uses his AI twin in all of his YouTube videos now and he has actually seen an increase in views versus when he used to record them himself and now check out Katia who ran the course that I took to learn about this whole process she not only uses her AI twin in her reels but also in her ads to easily sell her content and so whether it's long form YouTube or short form social media your AI twin can literally be everywhere for you and so the second way you can use it is to present in your tutorials and screen share now this one not 
not a lot of people think about but it's one of my favorites because you can actually use your twin to present your master classes your tutorials or your mini course lessons and the way i like to do this is by recording my loom tutorials first i record my tutorials in loom and then i export the transcript then i upload that transcript into heygen and just add it to the script box to create my talking avatar then i just use this circle crop option to make my character a really small overlay and drop that into CapCut as a super easy edit and it looks like you're personally walking students through your lesson without having to record yourself every single time and so number three you can also use your ai twin for vsls and product demos now i haven't used mine in a vsl yet but i think i will use it in my next one your avatar can present your offers and explain your content and even walk through your product demos like this is something that i'm going to be trying because i think that nobody is doing this yet and it is such a hack to get more done in less time and this is not even just for digital products you could do this with your ugc creators who are using it to create ads for physical products too this would be great for a print on demand business the whole point is there is so much flexibility here it is wild and your ai twin could show up anywhere where you would have been live doing this will put you ahead of 90 percent of people and i'm so sure that this is going to be the new normal in 2026 so you need to start now but what is the point of having this whole ai twin if you don't have a great digital product to create and that's why the next video you're going to want to watch on your screen right here will show you how to create your own ai digital product in less than 24 hours i'll see you there